hello again. Here's a ration I've been looking forward to for ages. This is from a uh, eBay purchase. It's a Russian ration. Uh, the guy or the shop on eBay is selling it is called Uncle Frost. Fantastic. Just a really exotic. I'm looking forward to this. Um, just carefully open this. This is the, uh, the newest knife. It's uh, a Gerber dime. Um, can't open it, it's still a bit stiff, it's a multi-tool. Uh, what I like is that the uh, the tools are on the uh, on the outside, you don't have to open it, it's got an unusual tan tool blade on it there. Never mind, back with the, uh, back with the ration, come on. Again, the site was called Uncle Frost. I just uh, so, okay, so the rations come very well wrapped. Uh, two things away, we get the cellophane off. So this one has a carry handle on the top. It's a uh, single meal variant number one. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's the manufacturer's details there. We're searching for some cryptic date codes, so it's uh, best before, I imagine, 20th of the 7th, 2000, oh no, hang on there, 20th of the 5th, that was that, January, February, March, April, May, so it's 20, 20th of May 2018, so it's well within the date. Uh, well, now you're meant to... I have to open this. Ah. I think maybe you open it from the bottom. Looks like it's got a zip lock. Oh, hang on, it's got a tear notch, man. Yeah, not the best tear ever, but. There's a zip lock thing in there. And there's a box of goodies in there. Cool. Right then, let's stop messing about it first. Let's get stuck here. This looks like fun. Right, we'll go with the obvious things first. See a solid fuel tabs, which look like, I don't know if they have like a striker element on the side, or maybe just a quick heater. Bit. I think it'd be a striker because there's a bit of sandpaper in there and the tiny, tiny little fold up stove. I hope the um, hope the lights are right on this because it's a, it's a lovely autumn morning it's streaming in through the windows. Fantastic. Um, what have we got? That feels a bit like coffee. Yeah. yeah, I should probably really look these things up, but no, that's I think that's wet wipes. Two different types of wet wet wipes. Can make a fool of myself in a minute. Yeah, what we got? God, that's sugar, I believe. Could be getting this completely wrong. I hope there's a list inside somewhere. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Uh, speak of the devil. Uh, un 
unfortunately all in Russian. I think that's just the nutritional things. Uh, this is that feels like an apple jam. Oh, we're in trouble now. What the heck's that? Possibly a um, meat paste or something. Ah, that's better. Now I, I know what that is. That's a cup of coffee. Uh, so that's uh, drinky pops. Pepper, you see. Fluid in certain bits of Russian. A tiny bit of paper on. Tiny bit of paper. I bet that's like an inspection thing. Oh, here we go. Tactical spoon. Quite a sturdy one, that, I think that. Uh, water purification tablets. A big old. Uh, that looks like it's going to be some kind of like vegetable vegetable stew thing going on there. This could be fun. Ah. Uh, salt? That would make sense. Uh, crackers. They look better than them uh, pans of crackers, don't they? More crackers and a wee bit of a paper towel there. Um, ah. And uh, instructions, unfortunately, all in Russian. Yep, no translation. I'm doomed. Okay, I think first thing to do is to have uh, some coffee. Coffee, sugar, check. Spoon. Okay, so coffee. Oh no it's not. There you go. You see the one I thought I got right isn't right. It's a it's a tea. I wonder. Never mind, never mind. We've got our recently boiled kettle. And we let that uh, go for a bit and uh, This, I'm fairly sure that's sugar, but then again, yeah, just uh, granulated sugar or possibly uh, marching powder. And I put much sugar in there for the minute. I'll give that a bit of time. Right, so I left that a bit longer than I expected. Got distracted, so it should be nicely done. It's got a hint of a, a red colour to it, to that, I must... Uh, is it my imagination? No, I think it has. But it's uh, just, just like a regular tea, like a regular, you know, like your regular English tea, which I'm not keen on. But uh, put the sugar in. I don't know what else you're meant to do with the sugar. Um,
yeah, tea makes it better to me anyway. Like I say, I'm not a, not a keen tea drinker. I'll drink it if there's nothing else. But um, yeah, that's acceptable. We like that. Yep, we can uh, move that to one side now. I've done a quick a quick attempt at translation. Uh, and apparently that says ragu. So this is a beef ragu with obviously potatoes, carrots, tomato, veggies and all that. So uh, yep, I think we can safely eat that. This translates as uh, uh, caviar of courgette um, or zucchini uh, in some parts of the world uh, yeah that should be interesting I'm, I'm fairly sure that's gonna be just like another like a jam or spread kind of thing to go with the crackers uh, yeah so We've got plenty for dessert with the crackers and the uh, apple jam. Or I believe it's the literal tra translation is apple butter, but it's going to be a, like an apple spread nonetheless. It's supposed to be really good. Okay. It's uh, time to get the main course heated up. Okay, so here's a. Um a brief interlude before we go to the uh, to the main course from the man who's easily impressed. Uh, you see that vegetable with meat, beef, and. ragu so that's that and then we have the um, there you are. caviar from zucchini isn't technology fabulous or is it just that I'm the last one to uh, <laughs> embrace it okie doke right let's continue them to one side um, open a packet of these because I think these will go with the main course and uh, yeah we can have some Some of that apple butter with those and also I think that's going to be like a side to the main course and the apple butter is going to be a bit of a dessert so yeah oh, we'll have a look at this and then I'll get it warmed up I'm obviously it I've heard these are difficult to open and I don't want to wear Yeah, <laughs> well that'll be right then. Um, I don't, don't want to do them like this. I don't want to do it like this. I don't. But it doesn't. It's fresh ration, and it would not appear to be peeling too well. Never mind. What have we got? We have got it smells yeah it smells smells like a stew so we'll get that on the heat. I'll open this the um, courgette caviar. Oh that's peeling a bit better. Um, and it would seem to be essentially a, a puree of some description. Mm, yeah. 
getting, getting ahead of myself here, but... Yeah, that's alright too, yeah. I think that'll go with the... Um, as a side to the main course. I'm gonna, it looks like it's going to spill out, so I'm going to put it into there anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, courgette caviar or zucchini caviar. I'm not sure what caviar translates as, but I'm sure, like you, caviar makes me think of um, you know the expensive fish egg dish. Curious. Okay, that's that out. Um, We'll get this heated up. Ah, righty ho. That's all. That's heated up as best as I can. It looks uh, and smells quite interesting. Um, so I think we better uh, better uh, get it out, as it were. Stuff like. Um, those chip like things I think are potato like I say it's got carrots and stuff in and uh, I think that's pretty much heated through green thing what are they green beans peppers I don't know yeah it could be it could be um Peas or stuff like that. Um, yeah, interesting. Get it down here. Hmm. The first impression is is it's like a corn beef corn beef stew. Corn beef hash, something like that. Mm. Oh yeah, that's edible. Once again, excuse the slurping noises. Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about this uh, courgette caviar. What, whether it's meant to be like a standalone with the crackers, or whether it's a side dish to the um, stew ragu. It doesn't actually have much of a taste and it, it doesn't add anything to that and the crackers are bland quite bland as well. I mean crackers are so it's um that's just a niggle. I guess I guess this is just to introduce some more sort of um f veg to the diet. But um this stuff's great, I like this. Look at that. Oh, that. It's like chips, but not chips or fries if you're of that persu persuasion. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. I'll be, I'll be ha happy if I cooked it myself. 
um, what did I find out? I found out the napkins, the white side here is for your for your personal ablutions and this side is for um, cooking utensils so God bless that Google translatey thing uh, right I'm gonna polish this lot off before we uh, have a go at um, dessert Mm. Well, in case any of you doubt it, I really have eaten all that. That's lovely. Nice stew. I don't know how they do that. Um, yes, it's a, a relatively new ration, so it's and it's all foil packed, so um, it shouldn't be off or anything. But that was that was quite tasty. Um, I didn't feel inclined to add any um, salt or pepper and yeah I'm happy with that. This uh, what, did, what was it? Courgette caviar obviously just a courgette puree I guess is something that I'm just not familiar with not used to it's it's not unpleasant um, yeah, but I'll, yeah, somebody will probably come on and say, "Oh, you should have mixed that with a stew, or it's meant to be eaten with, um, you know, by itself or heated up or something." But I, I don't know. It, like I say, it's ordinary, and I, it's not ordinary. It's kind of a um, neutral taste, and I'm not sure when it should be used within the meal. But yeah, it's probably just to add some vegetable to the diet, some fibre or whatever. So, on to the um, apple butter. I'm led to believe this is really good. He says, searching for a tear notch and failing miserably and looking for a knife. Ah, there we go. Imagine. So this is the apple, the apple butter, as it's called. That's a curious colour for apple. It's quite, um, yeah. It's quite a thick paste. Oh, I see what they mean. That's quite... It's hard to describe. It's, um... I don't know. Maybe it's like an apple pie filling sort of thing, but... It looks horrible, but... It tastes pretty good. It tastes very good. Sorry, I'm... You know, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm loving this ration, but I'm prone to uh, understatement. This is... I like this. It tastes like the filling in um, Jammy Dodgers, only apple, not strawberry. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so I think we've got everything there. Yeah, I really enjoy this ration. I hope, I hope me um, me enthusiasm and enjoyment came through in it. And uh, so 
so yeah I'm gonna finish off the rest of this stuff because it's you know spot on okay so one last thing I'm covered in apple butter get off get on so I'm gonna try the hand wipes which I wouldn't normally do yeah what were you doing on Saturday evening I was evaluating Russian military ration hand wipes. Oh yeah, real. I was I was down the pub. Uh, you don't know how to live, mate. You want to be you want to be into these rations. It's where it's at. Uh, yeah, that's that's lovely. It's quite a sturdy thing, isn't it? It's, it's becoming increasingly sad. This video, isn't it? I mean, so never mind. I hope you enjoyed that or derived pleasure from it. But I just thought I would give you an, an added extra. This is um, these are souvenirs sent or brought home from Moscow by me very best favourite baby sister. Um, this is the closest I've been to uh, Moscow and indeed Russia, I think. Look at that, what's that about? Um yeah. So there's actually you know military and communist connotations there, but this is my favourite thing ever. You see that? It says KGB on there. And I I don't know. Oops, hang on. It's hard seeing things through. And I don't know how genuine these are, but they're, it's, for me, it's a fabulous, fabulous memento, and it's got obviously huge sentimental value. So thanks, Jane. I know you're not watching this, but. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, thanks. Uh, share, like, subscribe, abuse, whatever. Thanks. <laughs>